Here is Synthax, a time traveler from the year 2500, telling you about one of the most memorable moments of my travels. I was in the year 2070, feeling a bit homesick and in search of something familiar, when I stumbled upon a pizza restaurant. I was overjoyed to see one of my favorite foods, but as I walked in, I was surprised to find that the pizzas were quite different from what I remembered. They were round, flat, and covered in strange, unfamiliar toppings. Despite my initial skepticism, I decided to give one of these new pizzas a try. To my surprise, the unique flavors and textures of the toppings combined with the familiar taste of the pizza dough was a truly unforgettable experience. I savored every bite, relishing in the flavors and textures that were new to me. As I was eating my pizza, I noticed that the other customers in the restaurant were acting a bit strange. They were whispering to each other and looking at me funny. Suddenly, one of the customers jumped up and yelled, surprise. It was then that I realized that I had fallen for a massive pizza prank, and everyone in the restaurant was in on it. But being the adventurous time traveler that I am, I was not one to be easily defeated. I decided to turn the tables on the pranksters and show them what a real prank was like. With a mischievous twinkle in my eye, I grabbed a handful of whipped cream and started a food fight in the restaurant. Before long, the place was in chaos, with everyone covered in whipped cream and pudding. The customers and staff were laughing and having a great time, and I couldn't help but join in on the laughter and good times. It was a hilarious and chaotic scene, and I will never forget the sound of everyone's laughter filling the room. As it turned out, the restaurant was owned by one of my old friends from my own time, who I had not seen in years. When he saw me, he was overjoyed and couldn't believe that I had traveled through time to visit him. He explained that he had been struggling to keep his restaurant afloat and that the prank was his way of trying to bring some excitement and laughter to the place. My friend was so grateful for the unexpected turn of events and how it had brought new life to his restaurant. The great pizza prank of 2070 was a moment in history that I will always treasure. It serves as a reminder of the power of laughter and friendship and how even the most advanced technology couldn't replace the joy that comes from a good food fight and a good laugh with old friends. My friend's restaurant became the talk of the town, and business picked up significantly in the following weeks. He was overjoyed and thanked me for bringing some excitement to his restaurant. I continued to explore the year 2070, but the memories of that day stayed with me forever. I was grateful for the bond that I had formed with my old friend and the new friends I had made in the restaurant. It was a testament to the fact that no matter how much time passes, the connections we make with others will always be what brings us the greatest joy and fulfillment. Years went by, and as I traveled through time, I often thought back on that day and the laughter and joy that it brought. I realized that the great pizza prank of 2070 was not just about the food fight and the laughter, but about the bonds that were formed and the memories that were made. It was a reminder of the power of laughter and friendship, and how even the most advanced technology couldn't replace the simple pleasures in life. As I traveled through time, I encountered many amazing and incredible things, but the memories of that day in the pizza restaurant always stuck with me. I was grateful for the experience and the relationships that I had formed, and I felt a renewed sense of purpose in my travels. I continued to explore the future, discovering new technologies and advancements, but I always remembered the importance of the simple pleasures in life. I made it a point to seek out opportunities to connect with others and to bring laughter and joy wherever I went. One day, I was transported to the year 3000, and I was struck by how much the world had changed. The technology was beyond anything I could have imagined, and the advancements in science and medicine had completely transformed the way people live. But despite all of these incredible advancements, I was heartened to see that the power of laughter and friendship was still just as strong. People still gathered together to share stories, to laugh, and to enjoy each other's company. And I was grateful to have been a part of it all to have experienced the great pizza prank of 2070 and to have learned the importance of laughter and friendship. In the end, my travels through time taught me that no matter how advanced technology becomes, the power of laughter and friendship will always endure. And I was grateful for the memories and relationships that I had formed, and I knew that they would stay with me forever. So, there you have it, my friends. The story of the great pizza prank of 2070 and the lessons I learned from my travels through time. I hope that this story has inspired you to seek out laughter and friendship in your own lives, and to always remember the simple pleasures that bring us the greatest joy. Thank you for listening to my story, and I hope that it has brought a smile to your face. Until we meet again, farewell.